What questions about、uh, your country, but also Europe and the world in general, led you to this story? I start always from an individual perspective, not from the social perspective, not from the historical perspective. I make personal films, so I was thinking about what is the greatest responsibility for somebody of my age today, and the answer somehow is always about education, because I think that if we are we are not pleased with the way in which society is today, the only Hope of changing, changing it is by educating our children. And what I wanted to do with this film is to make the the portrait of the world around him of a character who gets to be fifty. So it's the portrait of the of of, of、uh, upon life of somebody who is aging somehow. And、uh, from that decision onwards, I started talking about the way I see society today. For me, the film is not mostly or primarily about Romania. It's about a way of understanding life. You either use compromise to advance in life and to find the short track, or you don't use it. And you need you need to make this choice when you decide to to educate your children. Someone could say, "Hey, this man he hasn't killed anyone." Compromise is a mechanism of survival. At some point, we need to understand that. Uh, you can't change everything,、uh, and every everybody will find a moment in his life when he couldn't do anything else. But you know, there are historical moments or、uh, difficult moments when this is more excusable, and it's more excusable for somebody my age to say that you know, during communist times, you needed to do a lot of compromise to survive. But today, it's not so excusable. There's always another way of doing things. So. The film speaks about this necessity of making a greater effort. A greater effort meaning that、um, you know it's it's easy maybe to choose an individual solution for your children and say I want my children to be happy and to live the best life possible. So I don't care about this country, about this social space. I will just send them, and it will be better for them. Or you can take the more difficult path of saying, well, I'm disappointed about the way society looks today, and we are we all are. But what could we do? Have you ever been tempted of going somewhere else, of leaving your country, and what stopped you?、Um, not really. I mean,、uh, I I was always connected with with that country. I, I'm part of the generation that spent twenty something years after the in the in during the communist times in Romania. So we wished to change things. But it's true that、um, I don't know. 26 years later, we are a little bit disappointed because we are part of the generation who decided to stay. We changed a lot of things, and historically, the progress of the country is enormous. But from an individual perspective, we hoped for more. We hoped that today we would live in a society that would favor more, I don't know, value and correctness, and it's not necessarily the case. So now we need to make this decision again about what we'll do for the next 25 years, but in relationship with our children. If we knew what is the essence of cinema, <laughs> for you, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not easy to say. For me, it's、um, mostly about the capacity of cinema of、uh, revealing something which no other art, no other art can do, and this is, in a way, connected with,、uh, you know.、Um, Very small glimpses of interpretation about the story that you're telling, and the other thing is about、um, the way in which time passes. It's very difficult to express this in literature. Maybe it's a little bit、uh, more simple in music, but cinema can speak about how time passes. It can speak about the truth and ambiguity of a certain moment, if you decide to. I don't know to、uh, record that moment in continuity. This is why I shoot like this. It's a very strange and twisted thought.、Um, but、um, we work with actors. They have the words precisely, and still, if you make twenty-five takes at, of the same moment, one of them will be more truthful than the others. This is what I'm looking for. This kind of truth in which you see that for a second. The actor and the character are one, and he did a little bit of something which is peculiar and only belongs to that moment, and you captured it. It's a way of understanding 
the world in a way. This is what cinema is for me. And the way of capturing something which is particularly only for the thought.